What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. A new rack extension has dawned upon us. It is Helium from DNA Labs, and it is different than the previous releases as it's not a rompler like Achaeus and Hydronexius. So in Helium, we have oscillators now. So let's get into Helium. So here in Helium, as you can see, our GUI is kind of hard to see. That will be one of the only negative points I have about it. It's not easy to see the words at all. Uh, just gray on black doesn't really do well with the small print. However, that doesn't take from the actual sound of the rack extension. So over here we have oscillator A section and then over here we have an oscillator B section. So here in the oscillator we can easily create a sound. Let's click on this and drop down and see all of the samples we can choose from to begin to create a sound by clicking on that arrow. Um, it's not really easy to see but it is right there at the bottom right. So there we have that was a vox. This is a sub. String samples. And the, keep in mind, this is the initial preset. Pianos. Moving to the organ. We got some leads in here as well. And if you're not interested in something that is kind of already curved out for you, you can simply choose basic sign, saw, square, triangle. There's a unison saw as well. We have some bell samples pre-created, brass. So let's go ahead and start with the sign. We can turn on oscillator A by enabling it. Now you can hear it. This knob here will decide our mix amount for uh, oscillator A2 in the signal. So right now is oscillator 1. Then we can start mixing it in. So it creates that balance. We can control the level of both of them here. And the pan. We have semi tuning options as well as sense. Evolve button. This is an LFO. And then we can control the speed here. Uh, over here, kind of hard to see the, the filter edit buttons. You can choose between two different filters, A and B. And we have these oscillators over here as well. So um, A is going to be correspondent to this section right here, whereas B is going to be correspondent to this section here. So they work independently as you can kind of see it switching there if you see the light differences the light changes different filter types low pass band pass high pass we can add resonance as well this is the main output volume so if you're looking for the volume you might be tempted to come here that isn't the volume, the volume is right down here. All right, and then over here in the oscillator B section, we have the same format. The only difference here is the compressor at the bottom right and our mod wheels for pitch and the modulation wheel, of course. And 
over here we have our filter so that's the main difference between these two sides right here in the middle we have an evolve knob so this evolve knob will crossfade between the two signals similar to what this evolve knob is although this is only corresponding to the oscillator a section this is only the oscillator b section this is both of them whoops didn't mean to do that and of course we don't have anything over here to evolve so if we add in something let's go with a bell go ahead and filter out some of the highs here I think that says it says frequency resonance do the same let's go ahead and give it a, some more lows on the bell this knob here in the middle goes from negative to positive and what it does is it allows you to reverse the polarity of the signal that you're sending to the evolve option that we have here these E-type parameters we have down here are the Evolve types, which are basically LFOs, as uh, it looks like normal LFOs, but instead it's called E-type, so definitely keep that in mind when you're creating your sounds. So we can go from gating the signal. We can also change the speed. And enable sync. Gonna actually turn those off. Navigating up to the top of helium. We have more LFOs here. We have four LFOs we can create with. We have an envelope down here. Four LFOs in addition to a main mix LFO. Or main envelope, sorry. So... Since I love 808 so much and it appears that you all do as well, I will make an 808. So let's drop down my pitch a little bit. We got rid of our sustain. Let's bring our decay down more. Actually meant to be doing that on the main amp, apologies. All right, main amp. That's all the way down. We got Okay, that's a good sound. And I'm going to go to I'm actually going to route one of these to our filter cutoff. So let's go ahead and select our source in the modulation window here. We're going to use envelope 1 to the filter frequency. Going to turn the amount up to 100 just so that we can hear drastically what's going on first. That's hold, let's do decay. No sustain. All right, I'm liking the sound of that. Over here to our right. It's a little difficult to see. I'm tired of saying that. Over here to our right, we have a reverb section. We have three types of reverbs. We have room, hall one, and hall two. Reverb makes a mount, and we have a reverb tail. So if I decided I wanted to just have a bell sound. Right, let's go ahead and turn this up. Uh, we are over here in this area. Turn up the tail and the mix amount. 
add some delay if we would like to. We have delay A and delay B. Let's go ahead and flip to delay B. Now delay is going to be routed respectively to whichever option you select. So A is going to affect the A portion and B will affect the B portion. So if our bell is coming from oscillator B1, we want to make sure we're on B. Let's get some more volume here. Down here we have, the fuck does this say? Whoa. Imager. Over here to the right we have an imager and an EQ. Here we can add width, and there are three types as well, so. A, B, and C. We can add depth, and we can add distance. Distance is like another reverb. Let's go ahead and do ourselves a quick favor. Let's go ahead and ease up on this filter. So you definitely have options with helium, it has a very distinct and unique sound. Let's go ahead and check out some of the presets. This is for Galaxia, not helium, so we will go to helium. Galaxia preset bank is for Europa. In case anyone wants to know, here we have bells. Let's go back. Just to give you an idea of what some of the sounds are like. Here's a bass sound. Got some very nice creative brass sounds there, choirs. We also have evolving synths, which utilize these evolving knobs here. Now you notice over time the change in that synth. So without further ado, I have basically gone through everything there was to go through in Helium. If you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Go ahead and check out that 30-day free trial of Helium, and if you like it, buy it. <laughs>